Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Team Edge. Today, we are doing the Pro Chef versus Team Edge Pizza Baking Challenge. In today's challenge, we're gonna see if Team Edge, <laughs> with the most expensive ingredients, the most expensive tools, can bake a better pizza than Chef Aaron with about $15 worth of ingredients and honestly, not many tools. Yeah. So the winner is gonna be yeah, chosen by our panel of three judges. Oh. I am Juan. No, you're Brian. Juan. <laughs> we got Jordan as the second judge. Woo! One of them. And our special guest, Emily. Chef Emily. She is a world-renowned chef from New York City. No, that's a lie. <laughs> right? <laughs> Does anyone outside of the United States know of you? Yes. Okay, so you're welcome! Chef Emily actually has her own bread baking business. So if you guys want some BBB, triple bread baking, <laughs> bread baking <laughs> business. So make sure you guys go follow her at Little's, Lowe's, and Bulls right here and show her some support. If you love bread, if you don't love bread, something is seriously wrong with you. How about you not judge people that have gluten it was, I was just making a statement. Yeah, dude, I'm gluten full, not gluten free. It makes my teeth sticky. So now next, I'm gonna bring out your ingredients. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Ooh. Wow. Hey. wow, that is fancy. I had absolutely nothing to do with preparing this. That was all the production team. Wow, they really made this easy for us. They gave us all the ingredients and the recipe and, and stuff like that. The problem is, I hate directions. I don't exactly know what this plastic plan is, but this is gonna kill somebody if we put it on the pizza. We got basil. That's good stuff, man, I know that. We got some <laughs> organic, all-purpose flour. Proscretto di palma. This is a uh, unicorn uh, meat right here. Prosciutto di palma. It all makes right. it the best. Up next, we got some mozzarella di bufala. That's mozzarella of buffalo. All right, next one, date sugar. Next. <laughs> Premium mozzarella cheese. Black summer truffle. If the flour does not work for us. We got a few pizza doughs here. Next one is glaze. This little girl made this. This is <laughs> child labor. Balsamic vinegar of Modena. Aceto di balsamico di Modena IGP. <laughs> Pomodoro es mastano del agro uh, or argo sanse. <laughs> All right, Chef Aaron. You got a cardboard box, my man. Uh, the finest ingredients nice. from Walmart. AP flour, not buffalo mozzarella. Low moisture mozzarella. Okay. Low moisture. What is this? The least amount of moisture. Part skim. Mm. Ooh, the good stuff. Sugar. Plain salt. <laughs> Frozen meatballs. Frozen meatballs. <laughs> wow, those look highly processed. Oh, look nice. at that. Zoom in on that. On there's a, meat, a the there's meatball. a barcode <laughs> on the specific meatball. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little prosciutto too. Crushed tomato. Huts. Hunts. Organic basil. All right. Yeast. It's just a bag. Just a of little bit of yeast. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be enough. Hey, hey, John. Okay, this is Yo, question, check yeah. this out. Look at it. Zoom in on this. Don't take your eyes off of it. I love how entranced your dog is, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, so the rules are pretty simple. You have one hour to bake your pizza, have it ready for us to taste, and judge. I'm going to saute my pizza. Yeah? <laughs> Timer starts now. I probably shouldn't have just started off with this because no. I really don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just going to follow your guys' lead. Right. Yeah, please do. I don't do. want to lead the way here. Okay. I'm going to sabotage everything you do. Um, How to make easy homemade pizza dough. Since I literally make this easy homemade pizza dough recipe once a week, at least I have gathered a whole I don't care about whoever's making that. Read me the directions. <laughs> One, proof the yeast. Make prove sure it. it's true. What do I have to prove about it? Make sure it's true. It's not lying. It says, proof the yeast. Start by proving your yeast. <laughs> Give me that. You're not reading the directions. Which means mixing together water, sugar, and yeast, letting it sit until it becomes foamy and bubbly about five minutes. It's important that you use warm, but not hot water. Okay. So Chef Aaron, yeah. what's the plan today? Yeah, that's right here. Just to make these guys look bad, ultimately, of I think. Course. you know. No pressure with our judge over there, master bread baker. How often do you bake bread? Uh, you know, I actually recently started baking sourdough in the pandemic, so since March I've been baking bread, but really? I haven't had too many successful loaves, so oh, no. occasionally I go to the farmer's market and pick up some of their delicious bread. Have you actually had her bread? Oh yeah. Oh, dude, look at that! Oh, you got a fan! She probably bought it from me, too. I just yeah. don't It's okay. Really? Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, see, is he testing the water if it's too hot? Because he's putting his finger in there. No, he's, he's mixing the yeast in Oh. <laughs> He made the volcano thing at like those sushi restaurants. Usually like they'll, the recipe will say to let the yeast bubble a little bit before you put it in. 
However, uh, Joey's not listening. <laughs> Hey guys, you may have noticed, but I'm wearing a new sweater soon to be released, coming out in a few days. Um, you could say it's fire. Just a quick second. Oh. So be on the lookout for that, because it's coming out and it's gonna be limited. So, eyes out. All right, here we go. Do what he did. I'm gonna do exactly what he did. <laughs> do what he did? All right, so give me the load on what's happening here. Yeah, so uh, I don't have a bowl, mm. so. It looks, you know, one might say I'm making pasta. Okay. But I'm just making dough. He's tickling his flour, Bobby. <laughs> now we're gonna make a huge pizza. <laughs> Keep moving it around until the dough comes together. That's a cool feeling right there. <laughs> they make so much. Is that the whole bag, Bobby? No. Uh, yeah, you're right. Bobby, what what in the world are hey, you doing? Hold, I'm the chef, dude. <laughs> you are. Hey, keep holding so that camera. Explain this. When I went to Kisho, they did this thing where they put, oh, this onions. is not onions. But they made a volcano thing, so we're gonna do the same thing. When I was in kindergarten, we would play with mud like this. <laughs> Wait a minute, he only made his volcano because he doesn't have a bowl, right? <laughs> Don't you have access to bowls? <laughs> I'm just doing He's whatever the pro's doing, okay? <laughs> hey, He's a professional, I'm just gonna copy him. Okay, if I'm we waiting. copy him with the better ingredients, we should make a better pizza, right? I think they're making a sandcastle. <laughs> this, this really does look like a sandcastle. <laughs> I'm honestly just impressed that he made that with no bowl. Hey. Chef Aaron. You shouldn't be impressed, bro. Come on. Oh, you do put the salt. I was giving you a round of applause Come and you on, just insulted bro. me. All right, make me a giant hole. I got you a shark fin. Yeah. Dude, your science experiment's looking pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we oh. got a leaker! Oh! <laughs> this sandcastle sucks. Oh, no! <laughs> Buffy! Dude. She I did, said we needed more flour. They didn't provide listen. enough flour. Uh. Okay, we definitely don't need more flour. All right, Team Edge? Yes. Handmade. Pizza dough. I want I machine. Wait, why didn't you give that to us before we did this? I want some grubby this person's is hands on my stuff. Twenty-five dollars worth of dough right here. So look, yeah. this I take, I put it there. I don't have a warm environment to proof it in, so I got a warm cup. What? Huh? Okay. Okay. Hey, what I'm doing right now is elasticizing the dough so it can stretch on my plate. Wow. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Let's switch his out for this one. <laughs> You'll never know. I was just told by Brian that I wasn't going to have enough time to finish the dough, which seems like unfairness. That was not even going to be edible what? dough. We're going to move on to the other, the other dough. Hey, guys, look at this. This is actual gold. Oh. And I've never been good at wrapping, so I thought I'd fast forward the process. What? No. <laughs> no. Bobby. <laughs> it's on your lips. Bobby, you that work. Or, actually. Come on, girl. Hey, man, Bobby. 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 Gold flying out. <laughs> oh, oh, here he goes. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just smack A little drywall on this one. I would do some tricks, but I'm going to save you guys. I don't want to embarrass them. There you go. Dude, up. they went and got a power tool. Cooking. They're are embarrassing you themselves. You <laughs> you're you're going to make Emily cry right now with how you're treating that dough. Warming it up. I've got more. Do you want to yeah, go over there and give them some? Just, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, all right. we'll walk in. Yeah, let's we'll see what. Can you give me some advice? Um, I don't know about advice, but kind of just like, see what, what are you guys doing over here? So you are you going to cook over? it with that or? Do I get you to just help us for like 20 minutes? Um, I don't know if that's allowed. I, I do take bribes though. Oh, that's so. good. Enough. I got some gold leaf here. I got a lot of dough if you're interested. I don't know, it looks hey, like you guys I got been... a lot of dough. <laughs> is this your, I your actual so dough? Help, actually. It is. <laughs> are, you, are you pitying me right now? Is that what that is? Honestly, that might be doing something, but I would probably need it more because you see how it's coming apart. Oh, dude, that's neat. So oh, how yeah. are you guys gonna prepare your pizza? In the oven? Oh, no, 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 the pizza oven. I'm sure the judges are hungry, so they probably want to eat soon. <laughs> it looks like a hide from a cow. It looks like a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why'd you use two fingers like that, like a weirdo? What are your thoughts, Judge Jordan? I like the basil in there. Is that basil? That, that is uh, basil. Basile. Bastille. That was good. And you it, guys want to borrow some sauce? I mean, Ooh. no, we got. So I'm stirring the sauce right now, dude. <laughs> you were given free reign of everything in this kitchen, and you chose a Ryobi blow dryer and your fingers. Oh, now it's really long. So I saw a guy with salt go like this. So I'm gonna try it with sauce. 
Oh, oh my yeah. god. Nice. You know they have to eat this, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna love it. You happy with your finger painting, Bobby? It's a little wet, Bobby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's pretty. I made a house. Oh, you know what we need? Uh, we need some some flavor in this sauce. Should we? Let's put some taco seasoning in it. You got all those expensive ingredients. Oh you go to taco, go taco seasoning. seasoning. I know. Uh, Dude, Aaron's pizza looks. It almost looks like a pizza. Huh? Almost. It does almost. look exactly like a pizza. I'm guessing, since pizzas are from Italy, Italian seasoning will be perfect. That would make perfect sense. Thank what you, is Kevin. that? Italian seasoning, Aww. because it's, pizzas come from Italy. Yeah, that's a great idea. We need to put our fancy ingredients. I think our cheese needs to go. No, 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 you don't like, put the chunks. No, I got to grate no, it I, over I, it, I know, man. I know, but like, you know in like, uh, Key Show, they cook right in front of you and stuff? Like, have you ever seen mozzarella disappear? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is my kitchen, Bobby. What you got a- The world? What is this? Just pieces. And of what? Of mozzarella. That, oh. Yeah, mozzarella di bufala. No, it's you know, that bubonic plague look, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping those, the help of the good ingredients, <laughs> it'll be tasty. It's starting to take a shape. A shape? Uh, a shape, I mean. <laughs> Not sure what shape it is, but it's a shape. <laughs> What's that technique, Bobby? Hey, you know, they might be in good shape. They look like they're about to go in the oven. All right, Bobby, that's enough. <laughs> you hit him? <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're gonna add some just huge little amounts of cheese. Gold powder, just more cheese. Oh, oh that's my hand. Oh, dude. I'm gonna have, dude, that's all gonna melt you and really? turn into solid gold in the oven. Dude, yeah, like what a value, right? Chef Aaron is putting Oops. his pizza in the. <laughs> we made it way too thin, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't. It's gonna break. Come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, I really just. You gotta do it fast, guys. No, we're good. The faster you do it. The easier it'll be. It's like ripping a band-aid off. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, you're the man. Look at that. Jeez, what a That's nice, a Zah right what a there. Nice guy. It has yeah. been saved. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you to Fired Up Chef Aaron over here. We want to send you guys over to his Instagram to go check it out. Give it a follow. He's got some cool stuff on there, and he's got a catering business. So make sure you go check it out. All right, Joey, Bobby, this is your $400 pizza oven. Now, thanks dad. Do you guys know what you're supposed to do with these things? You yeah, put a pizza you, in there. It's hot and you put a pizza in and then you take it out. Okay. All right. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Just, bro. Like, it's like the VHS tapes just. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, like, I, I can't. This isn't gonna go well. I just actually want a pizza to eat. I'm getting so anxious watching them do this. Like, oh. you guys want to just I think dub in my some... hands? I'll help you out. Oh, uh, you want to do it? Oh, right here. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. This is too good. It's not a perfect circle. Do you guys have a timer? You're supposed to rotate after a minute and a half. I'm counting in my head. 32, 12, 16, 37, 14, 21, 10, 456. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, what? She pretty. That looks so wow, good. Wow, that, that looks super good. I mean, it looks terrible. Oh. Oh, that's so burnt. Oh, oh no! no! It's breaking up! Oh, dude, we're good. I'm trying to reassemble it. Oh, nice. Uh, we're good. Go. Everybody right now is just like, just cringing. Micro like managing. Oh man, you have butchered it. It was all you. <laughs> yeah, it was all me. I just put my hands on it. All right, all right. well, this is the best it's gonna get. All right, go in and start. <laughs> time to taste. Bring us the za. Oh my gosh, that looks magical. How's your, this looks like a, it's looking good, man. All right, judges, okay. what do I have for you today? A little meatball and prosciutto pizza. <laughs> it's pretty bready. I think it could use a little bit more marinara. Um, I wish the meatballs worked to your advantage. Mm, but, but they, they don't. Oh, Ooh, it's not ooh, looking okay. good. Basically means it sucks. <laughs> I would agree on the note about the bread. You made it work with the sauce that you had. I liked. I can really taste the basil in the sauce. And I do like that it's not really crunchy. Okay. The center is like kind of floppy, yeah. which I really like. The rebound, okay, good rebound. As you can see. This isn't basketball, but I... See the bubbling that we have here, that is a sign of a healthy yeast. The cheese, that low skim, low personality cheese, whatever you got, I don't like the cheese. Okay. Now, is it your fault? Maybe, maybe you could have seasoned the cheese a little bit more to season, season the cheese. Season the I don't know. cheese. I should have oiled it up a little bit. Add chocolate sauce next time. All in all, like I said, it was cooked well, baked well. Flavors evenly 
distributed throughout the whole thing. Well done, chef. All right, that ain't nothing for what's coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, Italian style pizza. We put some marinara sauce. What else did we do? We put some bread in it. We put some prosciutto di palma. We put some mozza di bufala. We put some... What? Cheese. <laughs> All right, Emily, you want to lead tomatoes. us off? She doesn't know where to start. You can start anywhere See, on that's that pizza. the beauty of our pizza. Every time you eat it, it's gonna look different. I think you guys did a good job with the presentation. <laughs> I, want I like pizza. how you guys did like the gold, gold uh, crusted basil. That's Italian gold. It's kind of cool. <laughs> What's the good news? I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think that the um, expensiveness of their ingredients helps with the flavor. Yep. I think so. You're right. Good job. The cheese tastes really good. I like that's good cheese. All in all, <laughs> good bake, guys. Thank you. You hear that? All my doubters. I, I think I know who I'm going to vote for. Do you know, Emily? Do you need more time, more bites? More bites. All right, gentlemen, we have made a decision. <gasps> ah! All right, we will start off with Emily. I am a big pizza lover. Aaron, I thought your toppings were decent, and I thought you did really well with what they gave you. Um, but I'm going with Team Edge. Oh, yeah. really cool. <laughs> Team Edge's pizza was all over the place. I will say that Team Edge had some good potential for flavors that you absolutely butchered. <laughs> and considering what Chef Aaron had to work with, I think he did a very good job. So when it comes down to it, I would order Chef Aaron's pizza again. I, I think at McDonald's. I think you were incorrect. <laughs> the only reason why it was even close was your ingredients. Aaron, I think what really killed you was that low personality, low skim milk mozzarella you used. About my no, 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 no. The, like, the I'm cheese. Sorry, I'm a boring. No, no. The cheese was like was boring. But if I were to order another pizza, I would choose Chef Aaron. Ooh. Told you. <laughs> Eat crap! Okay. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Aaron, this is your trophy. <laughs> for me? Yeah, for you. Wow. There you go. It's very self-explanatory. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go follow Emily at Littles, Loaves, and Bulls on Instagram. Go show her some support. If you love bread and in the Santa Clarita Valley, you can get some of her stuff today. Fresh. And also, go follow Chef Aaron. Again, he does catering businesses, so if you need to do any type of private chefing, he's your man. And also, go watch this video that YouTube recommends for you that you've missed. So go watch it and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.